What is up, YouTube? It is Doggy Style Gaming or DSG, and I am back at it again with a brand new anthem video for you all today. Now, this video is going to be the first in a brand new series I'm starting on the channel called The Arcanist Scholar, where we will be covering all of the lore and information in Anthem. Now, I've been wanting to do this on this channel for a while, cover a lot of lore information and topics, so that's what this series is going to be for. Every Monday, I will post a brand new lore video for you all to watch, and if you guys want to see more of it, just let me know down in the comment section, and if you want to see me carry this over post-launch, let me know about that as well. So, without further ado, let's get into the story and lore of Anthem. Aus is an unfinished world, abandoned by the shapers, the gods of this world. The world is reactive and full of unique and dangerous creatures. The shapers abandon this world mid-construction, leaving dangerous, active, and powerful tools known as artifacts or Shaper Artifacts as described by the inhabitants of Fort Tarsus. The Shaper Artifacts, these powerful and ancient tools and machines are very active and are in constant conflict with the Anthem of Creation. These destructive and powerful machines are the cause of massive environmental changes along with the destructive Shaper Storms as well as biological changes in wildlife, mutating creatures in the world of Anthem, making them even more dangerous to the citizens of Fort Tarsus. General Helena Tarsus, the creator of the Javelins, the most legendary member of the Legion of Dawn. She helped pave the way for the citizens in the constructions of Fort Tarsus. Fort Tarsus is a refugee city of free people atop a large wall bordering the city of the world. Inhabitants and the population of Fort Tarsus consist of free families, vendors, merchants, arcanists, who are the lore and scholars of this world, sentinels, who are the military and police force of Fort Tarsus, agents, who send out contracts for the freelancers in this world, and then lastly, the freelancers themselves. The brave few who go out into the world and face danger head on using powerful javelins passed from generation to generation. And I'm gonna end it right there. Now, I know this video was kind of short, but I don't want to give away too much too fast. So, the next video is going to be talking about the factions, and we're going to end it, we're going to start it where we ended at least. We ended with the Freelancers, so we will be talking about all the different factions, including the Freelancers, the Sentinels, the Legion of Dawn, and the Dominion, who are our main antagonist in Anthem. So, that's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Like I said, if you guys want to see more of these type of videos, I will post more of them. Every Monday, I will be doing a brand new lore video. And if you guys like it enough and want to see me do more of them, I will possibly just try doing two a week instead. So just let me know in the comment section. Uh, like I said, I got a bunch of these planned. So, and I plan on continuing to do these until there's just no more lore <laughs> for me to cover. So thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.